All right, so now that I have the GPU all squared away, um, I'm going to set it aside. And this is a Pentium, but my quad core isn't coming in the mail for probably another day. Um, I do have a core two duo sitting around, so instead of just leaving that Pentium in there, I think I'm going to grab the core two. This one's been sitting in my drawer quite a while. It's a E7500, so hopefully it'll work since it's just been rattling around in my drawer. This computer came with four gigabytes of RAM. And in my other video about the 990 MT, I had two one gigabyte sticks and I'm gonna add it into this computer. So this computer has six gigabytes. And then I'm gonna take the eight gigabytes out of the Craigslist HP and I'm gonna put it in the 990 MT. And then later on get another eight gigabytes so it has 16. And then I'm gonna take the four gigabytes out of the 990 and put it in the HP. And um, cause the HP I can't sell for the price that I want on, e on Craigslist. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna um, totally downgrade all the, all the um, hardware. I'm gonna, instead of having eight gigabytes, I'm gonna put four gigabytes in it. And I'm also gonna pull that one terabyte hard drive and um, put this 250 gigabyte hard drive in it. Cause if somebody wants to buy it for 40 bucks or whatever, um, I'm not gonna give them eight gigabytes and a one terabyte hard drive. And I don't care if I sell it for 40 bucks, if it just has some, um, you know, basically a throwaway hard drive and four gig gigabytes of RAM. I'll list it for 45 bucks or something like that and probably get it pretty quick. Everybody on Craigslist is so cheap, they won't, they won't spend 80 or 90 bucks on a decent computer. So that's the plan. I'm gonna switch out the um, chip to that Core 2, put six gigabytes of RAM in here. We're gonna install the graphics card and the PCI cable. I kinda have to fold it up into like a little accordion so it, um, it'll sit here like this and plug into the graphics card. So um, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put it all back together. I have to do a quick cleanup of this kind of crap because it's disgusting still. And after we test it and make sure everything works, um, then I'm gonna pull it back apart and start making it look pretty for my daughter. I think I'm gonna, um, she talks pretty well. I mean, she's a four year old, she can communicate just fine. But if you have kids, you know that kids come up with, with silly um, words because they hear something and they can't really say it very good. So when um, she hears the word computer, she has turned the word computer into Care Bear. And she goes, Daddy, can I play on the Care Bear? <laughs> and I just think it's the coolest thing. So I, I think I'm gonna actually make it into like a um, Care Bear themed computer. And I, th I think that'd be kind of cool for her. She'll like it. And plus it's funny because she calls it a Care Bear. So um, let's get this started. Let's start swapping out some parts and uh, see if this thing boots. Let's start with the CPU. There's our Pentium. Going bye bye. I don't know if you guys can see that. We'll put in the trusty Core 2 Duo. And when I get my quad, quad core 9500, I'm going to be swapping that out again, anyways. But it's not that big a deal because I have to um, take everything out to paint the chassis and stuff, anyways. So, whatever. Here's those other one gigabyte sticks. Let's see, what is the speed on this one? Just curious. Um, 1060. Oh, 1060, good. And the timings are the same too, huh? Cool, right on. Makes me feel a little better about putting a bunch of mismatched RAM in there. At least the speed and the timing is the same on the stick. I mean, usually the computer will adjust it automatically so they're kind of in rhythm a little bit, but it still kind of messes with the system a lot of times. First, I think I'll do this IO panel. Oh, 
hopefully the motherboard's not in the way. I'll be kind of upset if it is. It looks like it is, damn it. Uh, all right, let's take this damn motherboard out, put that I.O. in. All right, I screwed in this I.O. panel. And anytime you get one of these Dells, this I.O. wire is gonna be on top of the motherboard. I like to put it underneath the motherboard. All you gotta do is tuck these this ribbon cable a little bit into there. And there's actually these little stands right here. Also like a little tab right here. See it sticking out right there? And um, I don't know if it's for holding this in place, but I mean, it, it works perfect for that. So I usually put that right just like that. And this hard plastic shield right here will protect the ribbon cable from getting stabbed by any kind of little sharp things on the back side of the motherboard. Thermal paste. Everybody always says a pea, a pea sized amount, but I mean that would be a tiny little pea. I don't know if you guys eat peas, but the peas that I've ever eaten, they're a lot bigger than that. Let's put this cooler on. Go ahead and put this power supply back in. Alright, I need to get that other side of the cable. Let's put this Let's just try in. So, just for testing, since um, I'm just going to kind of like lay this one off to the side and um, attach it to the um, power supply and the SATA cable. Um, right now we're gonna put the, put the GPU in. <laughs> that is freaking awesome. Super fucking awesome. I got that in. Bend this a little bit. There we go. It's a tight fit, but yeah, it's a tight fit, but it it works. Basically, now we gotta um, I gotta clean up this table and stuff and get a, a monitor set up and see if this thing boots. Let's start with the keyboard and mouse. Let's hook up this hard drive. Alright, and now some uh some power. <laughs> and of course in Dell fashion it just boots up. And it's booting. The amount of memory have changed. F1. Start normally. Well, we're plugged into um, the graphics card right now, and it's displaying. Let's see. Computer system properties. We got six gigabytes of RAM. Three gigabytes usable. We're on a 32-bit operating system. Damn it. Oh well. Everything seems to be working. Windows is activated. You gotta understand, I didn't even plug this computer in. I saw it running at the guy's house when I bought it off Craigslist and I haven't plugged it in since. This is the first time booting it up. Uh, device manager, let's go see if this uh, graphics card is listed. Display adapters, standard VGA graphics adapter. All right, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go grab a GTX 750 driver.